Oh, good. There you are. He's back. back. A little Christmas tree in his background. Oh. Yeah. And, and the lantern. The lantern. Oh. Oh, light your lamp. Thank <laughs> light your lamp. Um, well, let me just say, seeing you and seeing this movie right now during this time, what a what a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Thank you. We love you. Thank you. Your father lit a path for you to follow. You find that light, and it will lead you to the part of you you lost. And what might that be? The part that can be happy. Well, I'm glad you're just a hallucination, so I don't have to listen to anything that you say. Well, the funny part about hallucinations, they just have an endless amount of tricks up their sleeves. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, I hope if I have another hallucination, it won't be wearing rhinestones. Yeah, so bless you both because this movie is really, it's a magical union of gay icons. Um, and uh, <laughs> Dolly, then Christine, were you aware that what you were making had a gay sensibility while making it? I mean, there's actually voguing in this movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, you know, it's just, I, I didn't think that way, but I, I just, it, it's, it's, just so much about joy and taking a, an emotional journey with characters and coming together and it's celebratory and God, I think, I, I just think that's, you know, to me, gay culture is so much about celebration and, 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 and celebrating oneself. So it's, uh, if it appeals to gays, then that we must be doing something right. I think so. <laughs> I, I have a huge gay following, but I know we had a lot of uh, some of our dancers and a lot of the uh, cast that were there. You know, we had a lot of gay uh, people on on the show and we, we love it. You know me, I love my gay following. Anything that I can do to make them happy is always good. But I think when we were doing the movie, we were just concentrating on the little town, the village, you know, this old mean old woman. But Christine played, you know, trying to steal our town and I'm playing an angel coming in trying to save her. But anyway, hopefully it's going to appeal to everybody. It's going to be a good, happy, joyful, magical Christmas, hopefully, that we have brought at a dark time right now, don't you think? I think so. I mean, Do Dolly, you know, I'm watching this and I'm thinking to be a spirit of yours, um, what would it take for me to be an angel? Would I have to wear rhinestones? How do I become one of Dolly's spirits? Well, you wouldn't have to, but I have a feeling you'd like to, along with one of my dresses, with maybe some of my wings. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one of my wigs. So I could dress you up like an angel and you could have your little rhinestones and you could, you know, I could watch you twirl. <laughs> <laughs> I do do a pretty good twirl, I will say. <laughs> if you could send an angel to any past character of yours, maybe they need some of that Dolly Angel truth telling. Uh, which character would you send that angel to? Hmm. Well, I don't know. That's a pretty involved question. I play. You mean something I played in a movie? I, 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 you know, Absolutely. if I sent an angel to like a Dora Lee, like in Nine to Five, I would just give her a little extra strength to kiss, kick Mister Hart's butt a little harder. You know. So what? <laughs> I've played so many Grinch-like bit and bitchy characters. I think b most of my my body of work, I need my characters need angels. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> Do Dolly, um, what do you hope the message is of this movie in terms of change in the country? Because this movie really calls for literal change. Well, it does. I really think that people are going to relate to this movie, as I mentioned, because it is about family. It's about a village, a town where all the people have their little lives and they're trying to salvage everything they can. They're trying to keep their lives together and live their lives and they don't want to be scattered like we have been this whole year. It's almost like in that moment of time when we were filming the, the movie, 
it's almost like the whole world has been kind of like that little town now, kind of uprooted and kind of being kind of thrown around and uh, in doubt and fear and all that. So hopefully, because this little movie kind of wound up being great and they wound up being even greater than they were and wound up with this woman they thought they despised, they wound up loving her, she wound up loving them, and they all uh, became better people because of it. And I'm hoping that people are going to go after this movie's over to say, boy, that made me feel so good. I love that. I love the music. I love the actors. I love the feeling. Let's watch it again. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys are both a gift to the world and to the gay community. And I so appreciate your time. And I can't wait till we do this in person one day. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I saved some rhinestones for you. <laughs>